Hello and we're back in Life is Strange with uh in, in the, the whole first room. Blackwell stuff in my bag. Maybe I could dig out what I need. Right. Did you oh. know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? It's funny because um, well, obviously we um, we left it between the episodes there, so it's like going, you haven't figured it out yet. Look at the bag. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, give us a chance. Mm. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. This diary literally saved my life. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Blackwell Academy 1910. For over a hundred years, the Blackwell Academy has been an academic oasis for art and science, with diverse students from around the world seeking to change the world and their communities. Check inside for more info about admissions, campus living, contacts. Meet your professors. Mark Jefferson. After blazing a trail in the world of 1990s style and fashion photography, Mark Jefferson always knew he wanted to share his vision and inspire others. In the late 2000s, he took a well-publicised detour into teaching around the country, inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Mr Jefferson's classes on art and photography are some of the most popular in the school's rich history, and the students will certainly go on to inspire others with their own vision. Nice. We can also see that's the science teacher. Don't know the one on the bottom. Found you. And contacts. We've got admissions. We've got financial aid, security, and the custodian, Samuel Taylor. Chair. Do we need to memorize that number or write it down or anything, do you think? I wouldn't have thought so. If you remember, it should all be in our diary anyway. Wait, speech has changed. Born David. Can, can we interact with anything else, or is it literally just the stuff on our table at the moment? It's just the stuff on our table. We can't actually get up. <laughs> okay. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Arr. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Mm. Well, let's look around and see what, what we can see. I have to save Chloe. Yeah. Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. Am I reading this? You didn't read out the phone numbers. Uh, my phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy? Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everyone in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Fancy camera? Fancy. Poor Kate. Let's comfort Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Oh, 
See, I, I think she would have been weirded out. I'm not convinced. Oh, yeah, photos and She'd stuff. She'd be a bit weirded out, but yes, it's sort of doing the all of the things you would have done knowing everything now. <laughs> oh, and she smiles. I thought it was sweeter in the original first episode where she offers her a cup of tea. <laughs> Don't know why it's a cup of tea. She says it really weirdly. You got a photo? Yay. And bold up paper. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Probably not, unfortunately, but... Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, she's probably already dead, I think. By this point, I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, she died over the holidays. Do we talk to them or do we just bounce? I can't believe you just said that. Um, you should probably talk to them. Also, there's uh, the option of catching up with the journal. Should we? Yeah, well, I'm mostly curious to see if it's actually in there. Yes, it is. Because I was thinking, is it like last time when we went to the alternate history, we got a completely different diary? Mm hmm. But no, this is all 66 pages. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd be less judgmental. But now we have Nathan's phone. David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber, finally. So, maybe the tide is finally turning, or time is finally turning. This is the moment where all the clues come together, and we finally have a location outside of town that may lead us straight to Rachel Amber, and beyond Tractor. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me, since I do feel we're at the end of the road. Hopefully... Not the end of the world, but whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has nearly gotten me killed, but I know she would die for me, and I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe is more focused now than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what, and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. And there's a little con on the cob there with feet. Is that what it's supposed yeah, to be? Yeah, you turn your head sideways. It's got a face as well. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's very cute. It is cute, right. So, uh, fish? Is that a fish with a wig? Yes. Chloe and I loaded up our coordinates and hit the road. We were both quiet, yet excited. It's hard to explain the feeling. Even with all the horrible things happening, I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery that involved time, space, and all our fates. I've never had much faith, not the Kate Marsh kind anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for doom after everything that's happened this week. But I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family, and I shouldn't have been surprised that it wasn't actually housing a w it was actually housing a weird secure bunker that was filled with Prescott memorabilia and worse. If there was if there was evil ground zero, this place was it. Cupboards filled with named red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I even had any clue that our amateur detective work would lead us to this kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue about what was coming. I didn't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh posed unconscious with that motherfucker Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her, even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber. Delicately composed photographs of her drugged and all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feel feeding Chloe felt like a vapour. And when we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his vicious layout with poor Rachel in the junkyard. Mm. And we'll leave this section for next time. I think we also... This has a star on it? Does that mean things have changed? Um, yeah, looks like it. What has a star on it? 
This has the little person in the very top has a star on it. Oh right, has that been there for a while? Because I think all of those um, photos actually update over time. And we haven't actually read them. Um, well, try it. Click on Jefferson. Click on Jefferson. If it has stuff about him being like a psycho, there's next. There's more pages. Oh Let's no, that's, just that's different people. Next people, yeah. Yeah, we read all this, didn't we? Yes, we definitely have done this thing, so I'm not sure why there's a star there. Oh, it's because it, the star's not on the place where you're looking oh, at. It's on the one right, next is to it, it on it? this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one for Thursday. Okay, okay. Anyway, let's continue. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. We can give him a photo. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh, can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. My god, you're laying it out a little thick, Max. <laughs> yeah, all this stuff is like, he's probably just going, what are you talking about, Max? I did everything right this time.
Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Well, this is unexpected. Good. It's good that it can surprise us, because it surprised us before when we, like, rewound time and got into the alternate reality. So yeah. hopefully this will be equally as I'm interesting. Yeah. And I can't focus on this one for too long. But yes, we, we keep jumping through time. I'm thinking, is this what the start of everything going bad? The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner? Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some res- and that's still- uh, sorry, I've got to stop there for a second and go, it's the eclipse! That was the- ah! Anyway, I'll start again. <laughs> With hopefully being less annoyed. Uh, to Moon Diner? Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night, around 8pm. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video s footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Hmm, I'll do the second part. Uh, Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott the most powerful businessman in the area is under investigation for his role as the owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Continued on next page. I don't think that would be covered until, like, after the court case, I would have thought. I don't know. But, okay. I don't know how long it's been. I mean, we were months later, maybe. No, but you, you don't go alleged to have done this, this, and this. You, you're sort of you're much more vague. Let's look. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. Okay. Please. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Yes, it's the Zeke's Ghost Gallery Presents, blah, 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 blah. I think we read this right at the beginning, the first episode. But we're on our way to the context. I think we won. Your phone, sir. I can use the screen, or I can look out the window. Uh, use the screen first. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited, too. Because what I reckon's going to happen is you're going to look out this window, the engine of the plane is going to fall off, it's going to land on Donnie Darko's house, and that's going to be the beginning of this whole thing. ...and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco, with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> Go back. Go on, look out the window then. Okay. We'll be landing soon. It's so weird to be in between realities. But everything is out of focus and in the distance. Mm-mm. We can look and speak to Principal Wells, yeah? Mm-hmm. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. 
How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Is she just gonna like drop down dead or something? I'm waiting for that to happen, yeah. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Do we get to walk around here now? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm kind of just waiting for oh, it to drop so down nice. dead now. You did it. All the nosebleeds. Yeah, I'm waiting for the result to be. You saved everyone and everything was fantastic and you die. I think there's so many realities in one. What you mean like Donnie Darko? Life is That would be very Donnie Darko. Weird. Life is weird, cute. But yeah, this is cool. We're in San Francisco. We're at our gallery show. I'm going to rub my face on everything. And the sad thing is, is that I suspect there's rather more schmoozing than photography. It's oh, what gets you um, further in your career, much like everything else. A Danny Lee article. Well, it's The Golden Gate Reporter, I Left My Art in San Francisco by Daniel Yip Lee. Yes, I was born on a BART train. Literally, it's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost of artists and dissidents. Despite their rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socio-economic pressures, because that's what they do. Galleries such as the Zietgeist and Milkovich Fashion have engaged with the diverse community and practiced what some patrons only preach. Continued on next page. Yes, yeah, so there's a little article about the show. Many, it's a lot of leaflets. Many, many leaflets. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. <laughs> it must be really claustrophobic. The revolution will not be televised. Stop the startups. 
How many more shops and residents have to be driven out of their lifelong homes by the latest boutique cafe or overpriced theme restaurant? The tech heads that have enslaved the city need a lesson in transgression. Join us this Saturday to begin the end. Meeting location to be announced. Interesting. It's those two. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay. Some mysteries should stay that way. Well, You're not going to read them? Oh, well, it's just it only really has the text that you can see oh, on okay. it. Oh, okay. Skip yeah. that. I'll go to the next one. I think this, one. this one as well is pretty much... But it is a tour. It's the Caltiki tours. It's like the thing that's outside the girls' dorms. Mysteries of the specific islands, which are specifically <laughs> to the west of where... Never mind. Yeah. Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. Skull and Bones, Hallow's Eve Party Spooky Art, Ink Portraits, Horror Bands, Midnight Burlesque, Tricks and Treats, Dusk to Dawn, 18s and Over Only, Wednesday, October 30th, Tenderloin Warehouse. I would assume it would be 21s and Over Only, but... Oh, there's another one there. Holy shit, but what would I wear? It's a druid festival. Cute. And there's this last one here. Oh, how fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. A history of dystopian cinema. That's interesting. Is that it? Are we done? Um, yes, they're not two with that one. It's no, just, the one. just okay. this one. Okay. I need to drop some serious cash in there. And give the gift of arts, so they go to community arts programs. Cute. And you got the toilet? I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Mission murals. I, no, I don't think so. I couldn't on the other side. Staff, Staff only. only. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. Call it whatever you want. Look at the lady. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Let's be weird. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Be the worst one there. Hmm. There I am. Where oh, yeah. are all the other winners? And staff members of <laughs> Don't Nod, probably. Yeah. Hidden around the corner. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was blur. It's just blur. Just, blur. just call it blur. Like a 35 millimeter lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo. You know how you can find out those details? All the details. Ask. Or like will be written. So yeah, they're usually on those. I think you knew about all. When I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually, but I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway, it is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be with me here. I can share all this with you. Uh, Dad? The label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, See? Yes, label. Of course. I was meaning a Leica disposable camera. You go, go. Yes. Yes. Uh, and don't contradict me anyway. <laughs> Whatever. So you got old lady. Spots. Wait, can you see that runner on the right? Far off, runner not found. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Some Sorry. runners. A fire person. A sad fire person. A small child by that weird hot dog mascot that she was talking about. I'll go down there in a sec. Oh, there's a guest book. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. There are mean ones, let's read. Let's see. So inspiring. Jay Dietz. 
Not as good as last year's show, David Foy. Totally makes me want to start taking photos, Adam B. The future of photography starts here, Lisa Simpsons. These heroes choose the path of least regret, Thomas Farber. A great example of total surveillance, Anthony Keyes. Uh, their 15 minutes are almost up, John Doe. Thanks, this is so nice. Inspiring stuff, Steve. Hmm, yeah, cool. We can't actually write anything. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. <laughs> I'm tasteful. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. <sighs> Lucky. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. There's a bit. Can't tell what it is. It's a shame we can't read these. Yeah, well, you have to for um, anything that isn't, well, for modern art in general, I suppose. Hmm. I'll go downstairs before I go upstairs. That one is kind of silly. It's very silly walks. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Hmm. I thought we might be able to reminisce. Can't even look at that one. But before we see what this person's doing here, looking at these six pictures, I think we should leave it there. Continue. The next time. Bye-bye.